Hey, what's up guys? Chris from Chesapeake Stringing. Uh, I've got a nice review for you today. This is the Maverick Optic. So a lot of you guys have been asking for me uh, my input on this head. Um, I got this from Lax.com. Um, <laughs> there's, there's a lot to say about it. Uh, for Maverick, it's a big step in their head production. Uh, starting from the Ma uh, metric, there you go, the metric. So this would be their optic. Um, both of those heads, the metric and the optic, are very top of the line heads. Uh, both made um, in the USA. Very, very good construction and design. But uh, today the optic, um, I have to say, is probably to date their best head. Uh, and probably will be for a while. Um, reasons for this is that um, first of all the plastic that they made it out of is a lot better than the previous plastic they used to use in their heads this plastic is very similar to the plastic in the STX Stallion uh, same matte, matte white finish to it uh, actually I really like how that came out so it's probably gonna die exactly like a stallion uh, I have one right here here is the fire die stallion that I also have on sale but it dies the exact same way because it has a very matte finish to it uh, not as matte as the optic, I'd say. A little bit of gloss, but it's very similar to the optic. Uh, so here I have this one strung up, all classy, all white, uh, with a mid pocket. And the reasoning for this, or mid low pocket, I'm sorry, is that you can see this rail. That I think it's called a dual rail system that they've made, but it points. Uh, the offset starts at this very peak right here uh, on the side wall, which is right here, and that's where you want your pocket placement. Uh, this head was designed for a mid-low pocket placement. I don't know why, but um, it works really well. I, as you can see, this has a little bit of usage already. When I was using, I shot around with it. Very, very nice balance of uh, weight. Um, it's, it's not too stiff. It's got a little bit of flex to it, but I would not face off with this. A lot of you guys asked me if this was face off capable. It's definitely not. Um, no matter what you do to it. So for stringing. Uh, you got a lot of stringing options. I think there were 17 stringing holes. Um, nice big top string holes for leathers and for you know whatever crazy top strings you guys like to do. One complaint I do have is that the very the sidewall top string holes are tiny. Um, that was kind of a pain in the butt to string, but uh, they definitely keep the uh, strings tight. I don't know if that's what they were uh, looking for. If you wanted to keep them snug or something, but uh, they're pretty much a uh, really really small hole and they're kind of tough to put your strings in but once you get it in it is, it's not coming out so uh, yeah this head is strung with 17.5 millimeter Nova Mesh uh, for those of you who don't know Nova Mesh is the new name of the mesh I make it just sounds better than the previous name I had for it um, so yeah that's what it's gonna be called for those of you who were cur kinda confused about it um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much about it for the optic. Um, I really like the design. Oh yeah, the face shape is almost identical to a stallion as well. Uh, one more complaint I do have is that let me get a ball for you guys. Um, the face shape is a little wide for my liking. I don't know about you guys, whoever likes wide heads, but um, where this pocket sits is I don't know if you can see it, but it's about where these two sidewall uh, prongs are. I guess you call them. Uh, those prongs are also hollowed out, if you can see that, uh, the top one and the bottom one. It's just not coming to me, that the sidewall also looks like a stallion. Anyways, uh, but yeah, that pocket, it's a little wide for my liking. I kind of like a little more of a clutch face, where it, it it's kind of tight until it hits the uh, winding of the scoop, so about like right around here. But, um, I mean, that's not too big of a deal, that's, uh, that's mostly preference. I've got three straights on here. A uh, really nice channel, as you guys saw on Instagram, hopefully. Um, this thing came out great. It's really easy to string, like I said. I wouldn't recommend anything other than a mid-low pocket on this head, uh, simply because it was designed for a mid-low pocket, but if you want to do whatever, then <laughs> go for it. I mean, be my guest. Um, so yeah, this head is not for sale as of now. Uh, this is the backup to my backup. Um, my backup is a Nas, and my gamer's a Nas, but this is my MIDI stick. Uh, I'm going to the... Um, Annapolis Naval Academy lacrosse camp on Monday, so I will be out from Monday till Thursday, so all orders won't be shipped till that Friday, uh, next Friday, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be using that, uh, this, while I'm over there, this is on my Epic C30 RL, 
a, a big dragonfly seed there URL. It's a great shaft, got it off uh, lax.com as well. So yeah, here's the optic guys, one final look at it. Channel shot. Um, so yeah, I would definitely go grab this. It's, I believe it's $90 at lax.com. Um, at lax.com is having a sale right now, free shipping on all heads, regardless, no matter the price. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and pick up one of these, definitely, I'd totally recommend it. Uh, it's pretty lightweight, I forgot to mention that. Um, the metric is pretty heavy, uh, but this one is not as heavy. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you have any comments or questions, just let me know. Uh, and for future videos, please leave a suggestion and I will get back to you guys. So, thanks for watching guys.